All right, welcome back in. So I'm going to teach you today how to make this beautiful little L couch seating area type of jobby. We're going to head on over to my testing facility and uh, we're going to build this happy boy out. All right, here we are and I've got a little mock-up wall right here. So what you're going to need, you're going to need eight palm wood chairs. Now, the amount of chairs is obviously going to differ based off how big or how small of a section you have to make an L or just a corner type of seating. In my opinion, the stone bedside table is the best one, mainly because it has this really beautiful kind of fabric cover over it. But honestly, any of the bedside tables will work, the nightstands some form of light that you can place behind the corner this is really optional do it if you want don't do it if you want don't want to and it's going to need to be fairly small so like the floor candle holder the standing torch something like that the large uh what is it a brass light that or a bronze light that's going to be a little bit difficult to fit back there and then if you want some pictures maybe a candle stuff like that so judging this corner is not as easy as it seems but the good thing is it's very easy to recreate this and do it as you go so in this as there are eight i'm going to start with four straight and then i'm going to start the curve so i'm just kind of judge this maybe about right here i'll come out just a little bit i did forget i'm going to go ahead and place this candelabra and i'm going to put the candelabra at a 45. About like that. I think that'll look good. Let's go back to our chairs. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to... Mat now, this is actually kind of difficult to see. I'm going to try to get close. If you look at these chairs, do you see how the cushion has a 45 chamfer on the edge that goes down? If you connect just the chair, there's going to be a weird kind of gap. So if I do that, obviously you can tell it's two separate seats. What you need to do is cover over it. And it's really hard with our character in the way I even take my helm off. It's kind of right in my face. Is you need to cross it until the chamfer meets on both chairs. So it's about right there. And then get the chairs lined up about right. That's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it is pretty close. It's good enough for... Uh, what we're going to do in this demonstration. Same thing here. I'm going to go until the chamfers meet and then get the pieces to line up as close as I can. That'll work. And same again. So, right about there. Alright, so now, the trick to this, unlike with these where you're uh, spinning just one rotation, we're going to go two rotations. Now, on this, how we're going to match this up, and it's going to be a little hard to see, on this back, I'm going to go not just till they touch, but I'm going to go till they both cover each other, and there's going to be a little bit, you know what, let's do this, let's brighten this light up to really see this. We'll take these all off, but I want to really, really see what the hell I'm doing here. So I'm looking at the corners, the top corner, so the chair that's behind me, it's the top left. The chair I'm merging with, it's the top right. I want to make a very small little X. A teeny tiny little X between the two. And it is really difficult to see what I'm doing. That didn't quite get it there, but it'll be good enough for a demonstration. We're going to rotate twice again. So that one, you can see it. It's just a tiny little X. And I did judge this incorrectly. Rotate two. And then you would put the last one in to finalize. 
So that's how you make your owl. Now, I misjudged it a little bit. It came a little bit off. Uh, if you don't want to refiddle with this, which is actually it's really simple to do, then what you can do is place back here like the mahogany um, standing table, the bookcase that has two shelves on it. It's kind of thick and drop it down a little bit and it can look like a um, – oh, we called it a breakfast bar when I was growing up. Uh, kind of a thin in depth, uh, counter height, pretty long. So to do the sunken pork, bleh, that's not what I want. I want. There we go. So to do this, if you look here, <clears throat> we're trying to get so that it works for all of these. So I'm going to do this one and that one. Now, I happen to have stone beneath this. If you don't have something beneath it, you will need to put something, a shelf, uh, whatever, because it has to be able to sit on something. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to rotate it until the front is facing all of this. So I'm going to set it in. Out. I like that. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go back into this, hit Y twice. There we go. And that, I mean, honestly, we're finished at this point. Now it's just decorating. Maybe we're going to put a little candle on it and, I don't know, we're going to put some pictures up on the, on the wall to make it look nice. I hope everybody was able to submit their uh, contest build appropriately. I know Twitter is some issues there, but I think it looks real nice. That That is how you build yourself a nice little L couch. And you can see I kind of messed up on this seam right here, how it's a little thick on that seam. And it's a little thinner on these here. So you do have to fidget with it a little bit. So, you know, those of you like myself have a bit of OCD going on. It, it's going to mess with you a little bit, but the result is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you're thinking, oh, but I then I should put a carpet. You can't because you can't sink this nightstand down with a carpet in the way. And you can't place a carpet through the nightstand to go underneath all of that. So... That's the unfortunate part there. It's going to have to be sans any type of carpet. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.